Hello everyone. Uh, this video is showing how to do the percent of accounts receivable method. I'm doing uh, chapter 7, number 25. So the question is, at each calendar year, May Supply Company uses the percent of accounts receivable method to estimate bad debts. On December 31st, 2013, it has outstanding out accounts receivable of 55000 and it estimates that 2% will be uncollectible. So it wants to you to prepare an adjusting entry to record bad debt suspense for the year 2013 under the assumption that the allowance for bad debt account has a credit, a $415 credit balance before the adjustment. So what you would do in this um, problem because um, it has a $415 credit carried over from the prior year that um, $415 credit you would um, calculate into the um, into the equation so the company has identified 2% as uncollectible so they have 55000 in accounts receivable. And if you multiply that by the 2%, you would have uh, $1,100. Now, they have a $415 credit. So what that basically says is for their allowance for dial for accounts, so if I was to make a T account for it, and we'll just call it allowance. The beginning balance would be $415. And what the company is trying to achieve is the ending balance being $1,100. In order to achieve that, they need to have a credit of $685. How do we get that? We take uh, 1,100 minus the 415, and you'll get 685. So therefore, they're looking for a journal transaction that will reflect a 685 credit to allow us for doubtful accounts so that would state that it would be a debit to bad debt expense of 685 and a credit to the allowance for doubtful accounts and that will be your credit of 685. So that answers uh, A. Now in B, it says that the company had a 291 debit balance before the adjustment. So now they're ending the year in a debit balance. Same situation as before, but now if we were if we were to draw the T account for the allowance, it would have been a debit of balance of $291. Now, what we still want to achieve is having 1,000, what we want to achieve is having $1,100 credit balance in the account. How will we do this? Well, now we'd have to add the $291 to find $1,391. That's the math to it. So we'd have to have a credit of $1,391. And the journal entry would look like this. So we would debit bad debt expense. one thousand three hundred and ninety one dollars 
and we would credit allowance for doubtful accounts the $1,391 so that is the percent of accounts receivable method I hope this helps have a great day